Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope everybody has as good weekend as possible. I hope everybody has as good day as possible. Um, the weather um, is lovely. Right? Um, it's lovely and sunny. There we go. Um, which is really good for this time of year um, in the UK um, or at least it is in North West Leicestershire um, so yes um, people can go out and do uh, lots of things uh, today um, and um, again it would be also a really good day to if you had time off work to go for a day trip out uh, somewhere etc or if you're on holiday it would be especially around uh, North West Leicestershire then um, again it's just a nice day to um, go, uh, go out and uh, do something and so today um, I'm going to be doing a budget travel special, 10 exciting facts, September 2023, part three. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my travel and my lifestyle channel and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so. And um, thank you for um, all my recent subscribers to um, subscribe in um to my travel channel um i really really appreciate it um so according to rdd.com slash article slash uh, traveling on a budget i've got uh, 10 fabulous facts and uh, number one um and I have mentioned these in other videos, a lot of these, um, is to set a budget and obviously stick to it. And um, the key to travelling on a budget is to figure out exactly how much money you'll have uh, to spend on your trip. Um, it is uh, really depends on what type of uh, trip you're uh, planning um, and where you are going and whether it's an international um, vacation or holiday um, or a, U a holiday in the UK um, it uh, will uh, typically cost at uh, more uh, to travel obviously international um than what it would do dom uh, domestically um thanks to air uh, uh, and planning a family uh, vacation uh, will generally be pricier than a solo ex uh, excursion because with a, a family excursion um if you're intending to take children then you've got to find activities um, to uh, suit um, your child's age, etc. Et or children's ages. Um, and it will be typical pricier than a solo excursion. And uh, number two, Nastro recommends using um, an online tool like Budget Your Trip uh, for daily costs. Uh, number three, uh, seek out a vo an affordable destination. Researching your destination before uh, visiting is um, absolutely key to ensuring uh, your picks are budget friendly. Some cheap places to travel internationally are India and Thailand and um, practically guarantee an exotic adventure 
uh, those countries um number four plan ahead um as far as possible use hopper and google flights to find the cheapest rates also websites like point sky going and dollar flight club um it can also alert you to deals as well special offer deals also uh, be flexible um with your timing and um, number six is um to fly or travel uh, midweek um don't forget the freebies and um, every little bit helps when traveling on a budget ask a hotel or a cop um if uh, the price includes free breakfast snacks or even wine free parking or activities like uh, surf lessons um use of bikes and kayaks it may also be included in your room rate so um again obviously those things um you need to take into account um because obviously they're providing activities and um also um stop you paying for uh, for car parking fees and um, or snacks or even wine or um at food such as at breakfast um you're not going to have to go out looking uh, for those things and um number uh, number eight a good location can also make up for your hotels etc if it hasn't got hot uh, ca kayak surf lessons um or free parking or breakfast or wine etc and um, plenty of cheap beach hotels offer perfect settings with sand just uh, steps away from the door um again at most beach hotels again offer at uh, pools as well um and uh, may also offer things like a wellness center um so again it's all that uh, to uh, consider um but um again it it really all depends um because uh, because um say a wellness center you may have to pay extra for activities it it really just depends it depends on the price of the holiday and what's included um, in your holiday costs and whether you have to pay for extra, um, extra resort fees etc and what the resort fees are and uh, number nine nastro says stay away from mini bars uh, where prices of items like chocolate sparkling wine obviously um alcohol um could incur a major markup um and uh, number 10 last but not least um consider an all-inclusive resort or a cruise um because you pay for uh, your cost and um again all inclusive uh, contains a lot of activities and again all your meals and snacks included so you don't have to um search around um your resort and or pay extra So it's it's all about um what's included in your holiday price um and obviously uh, your budget as well. So I would like to say thank you for watching and um I'll see you tomorrow tomorrow uh, for my travel and my lifestyles 
um, improvements, updates and more. So I hope you have a fantastic weekend wherever you are in the world and thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.